Boxing Gyms, G-E-M-S, Boxing Gyms. Check it out, study some of them videos there. The guy's phenomenal. His name is Ryan, I'm telling you. All right, you'll pick up a lot of knowledge there. Fight fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. WBO welterweight champion Terrence Crawford versus six-ranked WBO contender David Avenesian. A fight that's sure to be fun while it lasts as both fighters have ongoing knockout streaks. Let's get into it. Avenesian's game starts with step feints and level change feints and a high guard, which basically disguises his ultimate intentions and variates his offense. With a dubious reaction, Zabby having control right now with that jab, hard thudding jab. Trying to get in from the jab, do not hesitate as much and be first. Gostas in the management of his career, one Pegasus works with the other Pegasus. Note against opponents' reactions to the level changes, Ava will lead with a double jab or power punches sometimes off the level change or instead of the level change, which can catch opponents off guard. He'll also attack on the front foot when the opponent relaxes on the step thing. But his true intentions and the crux of his game is typically to bait his opponents with a high guard trap. Ava's a switch hitter, meaning he can fight southpaw or orthodox, but it's the same game in either stance. The high guard baits the jab or cross, then Ava either slip counters or blocks and counters. This strategy has worked well for David as he scored six knockouts in a row, although against relatively lower level opponents. Against Crawford, he'll be taking a big step up in competition. These were the shots that uh, Kelly was making him miss with earlier. Still has a minute to go here in this sixth round, and Avanisi will be straight back on him. Landing clean again. Well, Kelly's really got to be careful here. The legs are all over the place. Super slick and you've got great. Oh, and the fight's been stopped. There Again, like I said, happy to happy to take a few on the gloves to land his own, but he's got Matt in trouble here. He's got him going and down he the first two minutes. Leg on right, John either. He's gonna go oh, here. He's gonna over, go. It's, it's all over. It's gonna be all over. The referee needs to be looking at this and he needs to be stopping this. He's holding on just for survival, and he's surely going to go down. Standing coach, I don't think you're allowed a standing coach. Right uppercut, left hook, and down he goes. That could be a finisher. Like many other fighters with high boxing IQs, Crawford downloads data then proceeds accordingly. It's read and react for him. Crawford has been vulnerable early in fights as he gathers information and hasn't figured out the space and timing or his exact plan of action. He's been caught moving backwards in a straight line, dropping his backhand, and miscalculating timing. It's possible that Ava could catch him with something clean at this stage and possibly hurt him. However, Ava's style has some weaknesses that typically get exploited at the highest levels. Although Avenesian uses the high guard as a trap, it's a constant high guard still. It's just not possible to counter everything thrown at the high guard for an entire fight. So during those sequences, Ava isn't counterpunching, he's stuck within an active high guard. Plenty of holes in an active high guard in which his past opponents have exploited. Crawford happens to be one of the best at exploiting weaknesses in and around a high guard. Whether it's closing the gap with the jab, blinding his opponent to attack elsewhere, or just attacking vulnerable spots that the high guard naturally has as a defensive system.
He's never fought in a fight like this. He's never fought an opponent this good. The jab going from there. There's another body shot. But he has a good right hand. Right hand that time does Crawford. There he works his way to the inside. He fractured the bone. Give the underdog a great chance. Concentrate for 36 minutes and figure it out in there. Another second. But what's likely to be the fight defining factor is how Avenesian attacks when he initiates or when the high guard trap is sprung. He almost always falls in with a single lead hand punch and a shuffle or he lunges forward picking up his back foot whether it's a forward shift or not. With both tactics he breaks his base with forward momentum which limits how well he can move his head or defend. His opponents who are at least decent counter punchers have taken advantage. Probing the jab, springing Avenesian's high guard trap, then countering during or after the lunge was typically where they found success. Again, unfortunately for Avenesian, Crawford might be the best to control the distance from the outside with controls and footwork. We've already seen him fight higher ranked fighters whose game is relentless pressure and breaking their base to counter and gain inside positioning just to end up with their lowest compu box numbers. On top of that, Crawford also might be the best counter puncher off the back foot in boxing. He's gotta let his hands go, Dre. That's all he got in defending his belt. Collected and sticking to the plane. The limits of his size and his age. World's best. Tonight would be a crowning. He said, I'll test his soul. I think it's quite the opposite. That right hand. Trip the knight to a softball. Side. There you go. In two different ways. Another... Edge now 64 to 60. Good combination. He catches it. Steps forward. Ooh, doing exactly what Porter coming in behind the jab. He's lunging forward, coming behind the jab, lunging forward, put his head down. Boom! Crawford meets him with a nice Even when Crawford isn't countering and can't control distance, he will evade, smother, clinch, and turn. A consequence of opponents lunging forward, smothering their own work, in which Avenesian has accepted in his fights without much attempts to break the clinch, as lunging is a part of his game. While Avenesian may have some success early while Crawford is gathering data about him, it's likely that it turns to Crawford abusing a high guard. It's even more likely we will see Crawford evading or utilizing the clinch than eventually countering Avenesian while he breaks his base on his penetration steps. Crawford by knockout is my prediction. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Sportsbook link will be in the description as always. Share the knowledge by sharing the video and don't forget to smack that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. 
Peace.